AI. I gave you a little bit there, so I'm not going to go deep into it here. But here's the thing about AI. Something huge changed in about 2018. And this is this idea, for most of the last 30 years, we had been going down the wrong path of trying to figure out AI. And there was a small minority of people that kept thinking that there's a thing called neural networks, computers acting like brains, and large language models, LLMs, you'll hear about talking about that. And that by 2018, it became clear that that was the better way and the superior way and the correct way, essentially, to do auto, uh, AI. And so what started then, this is a good metric for this, is corporate investment into AI just went through the roof, starting right about that time. Now, I mentioned to you the generative AI thing. Generative AI was essentially a startup. OpenAI broke apart from the big tech companies that are kind of working behind closed doors and were a little scared to kind of unleash this, frankly, without thinking through the implications. OpenAI, the startup, jumps the gun with ChatGBT. And basically what's happened since that breakup and has been an incredible investment now into anything with generative AI, right? So now we got, okay, so now we're, the cat's out. Boom, everything's starting to start happening there. California, you know, people have been kind of talking about, oh, people are leaving California, and is California over? California is not over. I'm telling you, it's still, without question, the center of the world when it comes to AI right now. And in fact, if you look here, these are the latest numbers. Half of all the investment in generative AI has gone into California. And when you say that, it usually means Northern California and the Bay Area. And some of these other states are getting some of it, but essentially, right now, you're watching a crazy amount of money going in there. By the way, there's many people from college, from the East Coast and all over, who are dropping out. I shouldn't say that to the, to the profs here. But basically, we're watching kids coming from MIT and Harvard. And people from all over the world are actually streaming into San Francisco right now, partly for the same thing. There's a sense of a real gold rush there. But anyhow, the point is, uh, it's a huge thing happening. Follow the money. Now, I will say to you, there's a lot of fears of... AI displacing humans and, you know, basically taking all our jobs. That's kind of, in my opinion, nonsense. This is a complicated thing, but the short way to say this is there are whole categories of jobs like those red ones there, construction work, maintenance, you know, physical jobs that are not going to get really infected by this. The blue sections there are places where generative AI will probably augment human understanding, kind of work like digital assistants for a lot of knowledge workers. And then there are a few categories, those gray ones, that they do think there'll be serious displacement. One is in office administration, partly because of these assistants taken over, and legal. Legal is a big, so if you're thinking of law school, pause, because there is a big, big thing that's going to happen uh, in terms of a lot of uh, what the newly, freshly minted law students can do. Um, essentially, AI, is, uh, there's going to be some reconfiguration around there. And I will just say, in general, what we're going to watch in the next 25 years is all these fields, this is the prices of everything in the United States since the century, the, this century, essentially, meaning century, meaning 2000. Uh, anything that used technology to automate, i.e. making TVs and cars, is essentially as cheap now, if not cheaper than it ever were. Anything that was labor intensive, higher education is one of them, college tuition is the highest one there, right? education, child care, medical care, anything where you needed brain power, intelligence, only being able to be supplied by humans, they, the costs have gone through the roof. So what is going to happen, I would argue, is you're going to watch these technologies being applied to those fields. It's not going to decimate them. It's not going to totally change them. But it is going to now automate them in a way to bring those costs down, I would predict. It's a debate we could have over lunch. But anyhow, it's something, an interesting thing to think about. 